Hey everyone, welcome back to Play Crastination Population 390 and welcome to the finale of Into the Breach on the channel as far as recording goes. We may still stream it in the future. I like to put that in there because I feel like people get scared if they like this guy. I don't know. Anyway, we're taking on the final mission today. Volcanic Hive. Here's our squad, Laser Mech. This guy still doesn't have a pilot. Little scary. Very unfortunate. Would love for that to not be the case. It's the case, however. And it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Volcanic Hive. Three enemies is all? This might be a walk in the park. With the Vec driven off the islands, you have a chance to wipe them out at their source. You are humanity's last... I don't like that it's this lady. She's... What are you... All the strongest enemies. We have an Alpha Digger. He spawns the rocks. We don't have anything to protect. What am I... What am I just live... Like, live? Two... And an alpha blobber throws a massive blob that will explode. Well, I dare you to try. Absolutely dare you to try. We have water. We can knock enemies in the water. This should... Oh, survive the fight. Okay. When does it get difficult? Emergency power grid out... Wait, what? Deploying remote power pylons, they'll keep you connected to the grid. Oh, okay. So we protect these things. That's a lot of things to protect. And a lot of things for me to accidentally hit. Okay. Mm okay. So these are volcano tiles. Probably don't want to stand on them. This tile will turn into lava. Definitely don't want to stand on that. So this guy can get down here and he can kill one, two, three enemies in one hit. I love it and block a spawn in the process and destroy this rock, which now allows this guy to push this guy into the drink, which now allows this guy to come here just for fun, block a spawn and say, yeah, just throw some shields down because why the heck not? How about that for turn one? All right, final mission. <laughs> I feel pretty good. This makes me feel better. I've been getting my butt kicked for so, like for literally two hours straight that this makes me feel pretty good. We have one scorpion. Oh, we have volcano tiles now. Which I assume are just pew, laser beams. Okay, so. Uh, am I supposed to be frightened about something or what's the. What's the deal here? Because this seems like a simple old, you stand here. Seems like you stand here. You stand here, wreck this guy into a mountain. You stand here, laser beam this guy. Two more enemies spawning next turn. You've done nothing with your turn. Um. Uh, shield. I would love to shield more than that. <laughs> um, if I if I end with you here, we can actually do this smarter. Victory in three turns. I mean, this seems super easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and reset turn because we can definitely optimize this turn a little bit more by moving you to here instead, and then doing the exact same thing, punching you into that, shooting you and then dropping the shield here and shielding both of our mechs from incoming damage. Two more enemies spawning on the next turn. Volcanic tiles, turning things to fire. When does this get difficult? I know they're hiding something. There's gotta be some sort of like giant boss that comes down because this right here is, this is more lava flow. This right here is not hard. You know, not like bragging or anything, but I feel like it's not. Uh, we come here, we knock you into the drink, we come back to life. Unfortunately, we're blocking a spawn though, so we die. But we can work around this with shields. Do this, come back to life. Laser beam you. My brethren here, unfortunately, will only be able to block two spawn. Uh, we won't be able to block these last three and um, should be totally fine for the last turn. Three enemies 
have lost no power grid. We just have to survive. Again, there's got to be a big boss this turn. Some, something crazy is going to come up from one of these, I feel like. Maybe I'm nuts. What are you? Hold on, what is this? I don't know what that is. Um, passive effect, all player units take one damage at the end of every turn. That's not ideal. I dislike that. Okay, we have a rain of fire. What is this little twisty thing? What's, what's this twisty thing? Hive targeted, the Scion Tyrant will, oh, okay. So, yeah, he's gonna do one damage every turn. You're launching on my buildings. You are attacking me, which means you'll actually attack your own guy for me. So I feel like, go here. Oh, we're out of shield. I feel like, go here, pull this guy, Problem is I can't laser beam this guy for enough damage. Um, so I think I'll just do a heal on this turn instead. You are going to attack your own man. You, if I pull you, are no longer attacking a building. Volcano tile, volcano tile, volcano tile, volcano tile. Um, you can attack this guy for some damage. And then You can just heal everybody, bring everybody back up to snuff. You're attacking nothing, you're attacking your own guy, you're gonna get volcanoed. Yeah, very into that. We've survived the fight. Fire damage, scion attack. Ow, so much ouch, I hurt so bad. Does volcano, okay, volcano hits first. So actually the scion's gonna live, but it's victory in one turn. A promotion, fantastic. Wish my foster mother survived to see this. Incoming seismic activity breaks, I told you. I told you that was too easy. The damn island's trying to swallow us alive. Well, let's not curse. I'm gonna get, oh, hello. Boss battle. Boss battle. Sending down power pylons, keep them operational. We don't have any more. Uh, did I lose any on the top, ma'am? If we hope to destroy the hive, we need a lot more bombs, okay? Deploying the Renfield bomb, defend it while it primes and it will destroy. Is this because we protected it earlier in this mission? Uh, this just murdered an enemy and I love it. Defend the bomb, caverns. The Renfield bomb is threatened. The power pylons are threatened. Okay. What does this mean? A rock will fall here, killing any unit. Seems like a fantastic opportunity for a pull. Seems like a just, actually this is probably a better opportunity for a pull because you're attacking the Renfield bomb and we have just decided that can't happen. So I think at this point, the power grid doesn't really matter. Like obviously we have four turns to live, so don't take like a million damage of, of power. I wonder if we get our reset turn back. Like, I wonder if this counts as a separate mission or if, if this is the same mission, then I would feel really unfortunate if we don't get our, um, our this back. Now you do have a lot of HP. So yeah, it'd be like really nice to get you onto this. Does this count as an ally? It does count as an ally. So we can do four damage to you and block a spawn. And I have to move anyway. With you, we can either pull this guy onto here and kill him. And then I got to kill you. I think you're more important to pull onto that spawn or to pull onto the cavern because you're webbing. The, you're you're going to kill the Redfield bomb. Actually, it has four HP and you only do three. So you actually wouldn't kill it. But I still don't want to take any chances. This guy's going to take out two separate pylons. 
Real unfortunate, man. We could laser beam him as well. Yeah, we can absolutely do that if we want to. So we would laser beam him. Move here and pull you, and then with this guy, we'd probably just mash this guy into us and kill him. Just so we don't have to worry about him next turn. This guy's still alive. Yeah, he's gonna do some damage to this thing. But I'm like, I don't know how else we damage him. Like, we could come over here with this guy and hit him. He lives, and he does a lot of damage to me. I don't like that. Um, like I said, we can pull him on to this spot. How much can you do to this guy? Not enough to kill him. Can the Renfield Bomb move? It cannot. Or maybe it can, but it's stickied. Can we pull the Renfield Bomb? You can pull the Renfield Bomb. So I could actually just pull the Renfield Bomb away. If, um, if need be. I do not think that need be. I don't know. I don't need be. That knows be. Um, another option is to move you here. Do four. Okay, well that's not great because we attack our own thing. So maybe maybe forget I said that. <sighs> I wish there was an easy way for us to get in here and do two damage to you. Uh, we also have shields, so like we could theoretically do this and save all of these buildings. But then what do you do about this guy? Like this guy's got to get pulled. Yeah, let's just go for it. Okay, we do get our reset turn back, so that's good to know. Um, oh, if you could get over here, man. Um, so with this guy, we can either kill this guy or just block a spawn. Murder or block a spawn. Scusi. Um. Yeah, let's stop. Let's stop thinking too much about it. We can also shield it. I don't want to shield this guy though. So we could shield on our guy, shield the bomb, shield him. But then what will we do with him? Nothing really. Yeah, let's get these environmental hazards involved. Let's let's get these environmental hazards involved. You're free. Um Ideal move would be to stand here, hit this guy, push him on it. Like, that would be wonderful if I could do that. I cannot. Um, so instead, I think we just have to take this kill and say, I'll take the kill. Um, coming down, coming down, coming down. You're going to die. We're going to have four enemies on the next turn, and we're losing two grid. But we just have to survive four turns, and the campaign is over, I'm pretty sure. Unless there's a third wave, which I'm praying there's not. Could happen, theoretically. Get squashed, son. Nice. Attack the building. Power lost. All right, it's only two. All right. I assume the enemies are going to get tougher as we go, too. Okay, yeah, you really got to... Caverns, you got to do this to me? Or is this a different threat? This seems like a different... What is this thing? Oh, this guy uh, drops stuff everywhere he goes. I forgot. So can I push you into the lava? It behaves like water, but inflicts... Okay, so you will get damaged, and you'll your attack will be canceled. And you'll be on fire. I can't reach you, though. Why are these tiles white? Because they're the tiles that would be lit on fire. Okay. You're attacking me. Alpha crab. I thought you... Launches an artillery strike on two tiles. Uh, two tiles. Okay. What? Tentacles. The unit here will die and the tile will turn into lava. Okay, so all three of us have to move. You're attacking a building. Okay, so it's getting a little... This is a little more difficult. 
the first half I was like, I'm not really seeing it. Now I get it. Now I see. So we could come here with this guy, charge into you, do three, and drop you into lava, and stop you from attacking. Although I actually don't mind you attacking, it does two more grid damage, but you block a spawn. You got 5 HP, you got 5 HP. Pretty good opportunity to just laser beam right here. This guy I'm not worried about at all. This guy's not a big deal. But you here, laser beam down. You're still alive, you're still alive. You're attacking the Renfield bomb. How much damage do you do? Three? Oh, you're attacking a building too. That's a problem. Um, actually, not a huge deal. We can pull you up and then this guy's just gonna charge into you and do three damage to you, which will kill you. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. I love it. Pull you up. Laser beam these guys. This guy's not gonna die. Actually, I can murder him with this guy. This guy's attacking nothing. This guy's going to attack his own guy and kill him, which will then cause him to not kill anything. We are gonna have five enemies next turn. We are gonna have five enemies next turn. <laughs> it's okay though, we have to survive two more turns. Two more turns. Come on, come on, come on. We're just trying to live. Nice, you murdered your own guy. You're attacking nothing. It's a Blobulord. Oh, you're annoying. <coughs> That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. Yeah, these guys aren't even attacking the blob. Actually, you are. Yeah, you are. That's a problem. Are you giant? No, I can super easily not reach you. So just kidding. I cannot pull you into where I want you to go. I mean, this guy's attacking this, but this guy's already going to murder it. So it's kind of overkill. Um... Okay, so the Renfield Bomb isn't going anywhere. The Renfield Bomb may take three bits of damage. We don't want it to. But we accept that it may. Oh, this man's gonna cause the Renfield Bomb to lose HP every turn? I mean, that's not allowed. I'm quite not okay with that. Okay. Can attack. Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Mmm, that's what they want you to do. Not a lot of mobility down here, I will say. Kind of causing issues. I mean, this guy can pretty easily be... I mean, what I'm thinking is hit this guy, kill him by pushing him into the Renfield bomb. Use this guy to pull the red. How'd you get so much HP? Oh, you got to upgrade. Use this guy to pull the Renfield bomb out of harm's way. Use the laser mech to do something. <laughs> Think of what we have. We have shields. Where would a shield be wonderful? Uh, this guy's gonna explode and do a million damage. This guy really needs to, yeah, I can, literally cannot get to there to, to protect it. So 
I think a shield is probably gonna have to go down there. I would love to put a shield down in a way that doesn't also shield this guy. I don't know if that's gonna be doable. We can also pull this guy up. If we're this guy, we pull you up, you attack this guy, kill him, and you land on a spawn. I love that. Artillery man, or uh, charging man. We can also come here with this guy and pull this into us and just end it that way. Hmm. Then that threat is gone. But this guy has to die. So if pull this guy up. He charges into his own man. Attack or Yes, he'll charge into his own man. This thing explodes last. Uh, my main question is like, if I do that, can I get to this? Because that's the most important thing, is that I can somehow get to that. And I could come here, attack you, push you back, then come here with Laser Man and do some stuff there, I think is an option. Hmm. I don't know if it's a good option, though. Hmm. It's pretty tough. Not gonna lie. This is a pretty tough one. Does the explosion push you back? No, it just explodes. Okay. So, if this goes, we lose four. Four grid power, which is horrible. Whereas if we destroy it and just let this thing die, we'll lose two. And then we just have to survive one turn. Then you got the issue of this man and the Renfield bomb. I'm pretty sure on the final turn, if I do a repair drop, like just theoretically, yes, this thing counts. So even if it takes three damage this turn, I can just use that on the next turn and heal it. So it's like the damage doesn't even count, but this will do a thing. So I could just worry about killing that this turn with like this guy maybe. I think we still have our reset. So what this would task me with doing is dropping a shield here. Attacking this guy with this guy. And then laser beaming. I guess just like from here through there. I really wish I could knock you back one, man. Really would love to knock you back one. Since we're gonna be using the heal next turn anyway, we could also like sacrificial lamb this thing. Uh, but I don't think we can get to you. Oh, if this tile was not lava, all would be good because we could just do a nice easy pew. Oh, sorry, that was super loud. A nice easy pew right there. But since we cannot, let's just go for it. I ain't getting any younger. Shield everything. Come here. Blammo mac and cheese this guy. You're still living. And then you can laser beam. You could laser beam this guy and just kill him. And then this would get unlocked. This is still gonna take two grid damage. Or we could block a spawn. Get damage off on this guy or block spawn. You can't attack next turn. Let's remember that. Oh, we're, it, we're either going to win or lose on the last turn of the whole game, and that terrifies me. Um, at the very least, I can get rid of your shield and you will take three damage from the explosion. 
You're going to do three damage to this thing, but nothing else is attacking it. We're going to lose two grid power. We're going to be at three grid power on the final turn with only two mechs being able to move. We have our reset turn, though, so we can go over this last turn as long as we need to until it's successful. Resistance! It's the greatest building! Okay, we lost at that time. We're going to have four grid power on the final turn. Renfield bomb is still okay. Exploded. Blocked an enemy, blocked an enemy. What is this? More tentacles? Okay, defend the Renfield bomb till it explodes. We can also, you're attacking grid power, you're attacking us, which in turn means you're attacking your own boy. You've made it easy. It's simple. We really can just do this. We really can just do this. Shield the bomb. It will not take damage from the explosion. This will not take damage from the explosion. Move you. Shoot through you. You're attacking nothing now. You're going to get murdered by your own guy. Suck all my nuts. That's a win. Right? It says one turn. I don't know why it's still showing Vex spawning. It says one turn and the Renfield bomb's going off. Unless... It says ground tile, no special effect. Don't you dare tentacle this thing, otherwise that's some baloney. Your attack order. You're gonna murder this guy. You're attacking nothing. I think that's a win. Okay. You did push it into a building, but I'm okay with it. You attacked, it's so good. The Redenfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now or you'll share a grave with the Vec. Vect aside, complete. The islands are preserved and balance restored. Get me out of here. What the heck? We're just leaving them behind? Data drives ready for temporal breach. It's been an honor, Commander, serving with you and the Zenith Guard. Well, thanks, sir. I know I'm, I'm sorry I put you guys in. What the f? I know I put you guys in danger's way a lot of times. That's a V for victory. Beat the game any length? Uh, yes, I did. Barely. And after many attempts. <laughs> Victory. Thanks to the valiant efforts of Prospero, Camila Vera, and Robotic Autopilot, the Vec Hive has been destroyed, saving this timeline from ultimate doom. Humanity cannot begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the Vec. Island civilian lives protected, 19059. Total Earth lives saved, approximately 4.6 a billion. Fantastic, a game from Subset Games. All right, guys. It took us two campaigns, but we got it done. Um. There were some close calls several times over the course of this playthrough. Obviously, the first campaign, we had too many close calls to the point where we lost. Also, I think we probably could have won that first campaign if literally twice I pressed end turn instead of reset turn. And that probably ended up costing us the whole campaign because we ended up losing pilots and doing some stuff. This one... We lost a pilot as well to my own stupidity, although I still kind of think it was a little, you know, uh... You know, I don't want to be you know, insulting. A little stupid that we couldn't do uh, the healing maneuver um, on the turn when we were in smoke, but I understand it's a, it's a, I just, it's something I just didn't understand about um, the game. Like, that was my own misunderstanding of the mechanics, so I can't really blame um, the game for that. Press any key to continue. Timeline saved. Select one pilot. Flying, plus one mech move, plus two HP. Plus two HP, plus three grid defense. Unaffected by webbing and smoke. I like flying. Dude, unaffected by smoke. That would have been broken. Maybe I prefer Camila. You look cooler, though. I'm taking you because you look cool. Um, all right, guys. So that is going to be the end of Into the Breach on the, ch the channel from a, from a recording standpoint. That does not mean we will not return to this in some streams. I think we probably will because maybe you guys can help me uh, play a little faster by not uh, focusing so much on every single play, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I think you guys could probably help me play this game a little faster. I'm also probably just gonna play it in my meantime. Uh, what's nice is you can have, 
All right, well, I can't get to the main menu from here. Uh, but what's nice is you can have several different save files. So I have one called YouTube. That's this one. And then I have one called Personal. Or Fun, I think I call it. I can't remember. That I just is playing for fun. And then I can have one for Twitch, too. Mm, I'll probably just use the YouTube one for Twitch. Because I don't really feel like unlocking all the mechs again. Um, but, yeah. So, like, in some capacity, we may still play this game. Um... And then, like, upload the VODs to the channel if I'm not lazy, which I have been lazy lately. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, that's the end of the breach. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a really good time with this game. Thanks to, to Subset Games for um, for uh, for making it. <laughs> and a huge thanks to SideQuest Gaming for hooking me up with a, with a, a, a copy of it. The series would not have been possible without him. Um, so his channel has been linked in the description of our video. I hope you guys go check him out because um, awesome guy, super generous, and I really appreciate um, letting me play this because it's honestly like just a ton of fun. Like this is a game I feel like I'm going to play for fun a lot on those days when Isaac gets a little stale. Um, this is a nice brain game that, um, you know, it's nice to play. I'm having a great time with Fortnite too. Don't get me wrong, but it's nice to play a game that challenges the, the mind a little bit, um, rather than the reflexes. So, uh, Pokemon's coming next guys. You guys voted for it. And after this, we were going to do a Pokemon, um, Nuzlocke of sorts. In fact, oh, I don't know how many videos I recorded today. If this comes out on Thursday, then you're going to see the first episode tomorrow. If this is coming out on Friday, you're going to see the first episode of Pokemon slightly after this. Um, it's going to be a Choose My Starter episode. Just in case this comes out on Thursday, I don't want to tell you the name of the Nuzlocke, but you'll see it tomorrow and or in one hour. Um, I want to keep it kind of a surprise, but it's going to be really fun. It's going to be... I think difficult. It's it, it, If you're listening right now, by the way, you probably checked out by now. You're probably like, if you're if you like this kind of game, you're probably like, I don't really like Pokemon. Potentially, maybe there's some there crossover. Obviously, I like both. Um, if you like the complex nature of this game, the fact that it requires me to think, you're gonna want to check out the Nuzlocke because I have created rules and structured it in a way that is going to cause me to have to think. It's not going to be just simple, oh, just click fire blast. Um, there's going to be a lot of thinking, and the most important thing is memory. A lot of memory is going to be important for relearning Pokemon, essentially. Um, but you guys will have to go check it out to see what I mean. Thank you so much for the support on this series. It means a ton to me. Like I said, had a great time with it. This is like the perfect length for a series. What was it, like 15 to 20 episodes? This is like perfect series length. Um, like just enough that like, honestly, I still want to keep playing it. I would rather end a series wanting to keep playing it than end it wanting to be done with it. Um, there's definitely been games in the past, uh, Pokemon Sun, that once you reach, uh, let's play episode number 60, when they're 30 minutes each, where you just go, I can't play this game anymore. Uh, this was, like, perfect, like, even 30. I've had let's plays, why am I still talking? Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Ooh, help me.